guys, what's up? So it is currently 3.52 p.m. May 11th. So obviously I'm starting this a little late. Um, and if you've read the title, then you know that I'm going to be doing a 24 hour challenge um, for a book. I'm gonna be reading We Are the Wildcats. And I cannot pronounce the first name, but it's by Vivian. It's the last name. It's New York bestseller. It is also the book explosion book of the month, um, which I only know through Jesse the Reader. It's a YouTube channel, so I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just thought it would be nice to uh, try to read this book in 24 hours since it is a book set in 24 hours. So I'm going to read the back cover for you guys. So the... The only way the Wildcats will win tomorrow is if the varsity players, new and returning, come together tonight to know they can count on one another, to believe with their whole hearts that they'll have one another's backs until the final whistle. As Coach likes to say, team first, always. That's why they lost last season. That's what broke them. Lucky there's a tradition just for this kind of team bonding. One that happens tonight. It is a single facet of being a wildcat that belongs to the girls, or at least that's how it used to be. Um, it is also, a, it's a multiple point of view story, um, which means that it is point of view from different girls or different people, in this case, girls, following the same story just through their point of views back and forth. One of my second favorite book is that way as well. So I did get a little confused sometimes, but I'm hoping that I don't get that confused through this story. And I've recently started doing like this note card thing where I write down when I've read it and then what my thoughts are at the end. And I just thought that it would be nice to read this. So my count, my clock only goes to 23 hours. So I guess the 23 hour challenge, we're going to start at four o'clock. So like five minutes because I'm going to get things situated, I guess. So here's the book cover. Um, just so you guys can have a better look at it. I don't particularly like this so yeah, it is a 24 hour um, book, um, like play hockey. Ooh, dude, I love the side of this book. I hate dust covers. Um, anybody that follows my channels knows this is the author. For now, you're just gonna be placed right here. Have fun. I do love this. Actually, I need to take a photo of this book, but I guess I'll do it later. Here's the note card. It's a bullet journal note card. Basic format. You know. How many pages are in this book? Let's see. There's a lot of blank pages in the back. Which kind of bothers me. But hey. Um, so there is. 352 pages. I got this. so I've only read the first chapter I just wanted to like talk real quick so I'm gonna assume that each chapter is super short as of right now but the first chapter really is just reminding me of like when I used to like do tryouts and stuff like I used to try out for soccer every single summer and I could just remember the sweat and the pain that came from it and when I auditioned for cross country and track and all that that was coming from it and then especially volleyball when I tried out for volleyball like oh my gosh and I remember in eighth grade I tried out for volleyball and I didn't even make the team but I remember the all oh, the pain that came from that and I don't know they just did a really good description of like how trials are if that makes sense, like, first, like, if you have a coach that, like, really, really wants to win or, like, used to do this professionally, their tryouts are death. 
but in a good way and like they did a really good way of explaining it so now we're going from like every like from god above telling us what's happening to the first person um point of view of lucy so yeah <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so it is 11.29 p.m. I have 15 hours, 31 minutes, and 18 seconds left. I'm on page 131. Yeah, I'm on page 131. Um, not even halfway through. I think there's 300 pages. I cannot remember what I said at the beginning of this. Yeah, there's 352 pages, so I'm gonna try. My hair is a wreck. Okay. I'm going to try and get to page um, 200 before I go to bed, but who knows since it's 1.29 p.m. Um, but I mean, I have until 4 p.m. tomorrow, right? But still, um, this book is really fast paced, so I like that. It's really good, like, so far I really like it. Um, so all of this is leading up to like the big scrimmage match tomorrow, like at the end of the book. Um, and so far we haven't even gotten to like the big event, the secret event that's going to be happening before then. So it's all a lead up, the build up, which is really nice. I really like it. It's really fast. I don't like, like the way, excuse me, Delilah. I don't like the way the coach interacts with some of the females, though. So far, it's good. I think I'm going to take, like, a 15, 20-minute break. 15-minute break. Um, watch a video on YouTube and then go back to reading and then probably fall asleep, to be honest. Yeah, so I got 15. And that's the time. And then this is the video I'm going to be watching. Also, this is Gerald. He'll be my reading buddy. Yeah. The mentor here, she just wants to chill and... This is Dobster. Hi, okay. I <laughs> really don't want to put the book down. I set a stopping point for page 239. But I may read past that. We'll see. It's also probably like 2 a.m. So, I should probably go to bed and then come back, but 
I don't want to put the book down. <laughs> yeah. I really like this book. I wasn't sure if I would. But I do. Um, I do want to say that when I said point of view, it's not really point of view. It's kind of like following this character more than point of view. So like some of the characters. So like it will follow what Lucy's doing and then it will follow what Grace is doing. And then it will follow what Allie's doing. And then it will follow what Mel's doing. And then Keegan. Kerrigan, whatever, um, and so forth and so on, and Allie, so it's kind of like, I don't know, it's not point of view, but it's like not not point of view, it's like God is telling us what this specific person is doing at the same time as this person, like it even tells you like the times and everything, but yeah, so my camera's gonna die, so so I changed in here to go like get a new battery. So like I was saying, it's not like even like at the same time, it's like each, like it follows the specific timeline. So it starts at the beginning of tryouts. So like after the in introduction, it's like eight o'clock and even tells you in there, but then the very next one when they're celebrating, is like the next day and it's at 12, 27 PM. And it tells you the specific time and the date and then like, I'm in the middle of the book right now. So I'm on page 179. And it's like, Saturday, August 27th, 1, 1.11 a.m. Alley. So, from the person we're following. So, I don't know. I really like that. It's not like what I thought. Because when I thought of 24-hour point of view story, I specifically thought. Follow the point of view of that person. Like, the other book I read. But this is different. And it's nice. I like it. I don't want to stop reading it. So, yeah. So, yeah. Here's where I'm at. New chapter. Let's get going. It is 2. 10 and I got 12 hours, 49 minutes and 45 seconds left. Okay. Let's talk about the book for a minute. I'm not at my reading point, but I think I'm going to read past it and just read until the end. Even though it is 3.30 in the morning. And I have 11 hours left, but I think I'm just going to brush through it. But right now, we have somebody talking about how like their mother wanted to support them, but doesn't understand. And I'm like, just be glad your mom wants to support you. But more importantly, that one thing I've been complaining about the whole time, finally. Finally, one character finds it weird. <laughs> that the coach is talking to the girls at 2 a.m. Like, <laughs> why is nobody else finding it weird? But I'm on page 226. Not far away from my goal. But I think I'm just gonna go until I finish this. Yeah, I think I have 200 pages left. Three fifty-five, and I got 11 hours left. I'm finally at my goal of page 321 and there is like 350 something so almost done super almost there So it is only 6.24 a.m. 
<laughs> Hi. We finished this book. Really good book. I really good book. I'm gonna write down my thoughts on this note card. And then go to sleep. <laughs> I have eight hours, thirty-three minutes, and twenty minute twenty seconds left from 23 minutes of so it's 24 hour challenges add that to 9 hours and 33 minutes and 20 seconds left before my 24 hours are up I'm not even tired anymore at this point like I am like I'm yawning but like my brain is telling me to stay awake <laughs> yeah it's just because you're in quarantine doesn't mean you need to stay up the whole time so I'm gonna write this real quick So I read this book in 14 hours, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds, so definitely personal best. Um, normally it takes me like a week, sometimes three days, like recently it's been like three days, but then again I've had nothing to do but school, and now that school's out, bam. So yeah, now I'll give you my thoughts on the book. <laughs> Okay guys, so, it is completely the next day. It is 8.16. I woke up around 1, not even gonna lie, I woke up around 1, and then I just like, lounged around in a cocoon in my bed all day. So, I thought I would just talk about this book. So we the Wildcats, I definitely would give it like a 4 out of 5, I guess. Um, it does address the thing that I was complaining about the most, how creepy this person was being, and I'm glad that it finally was addressed. At least once in the story, I have a little note card about everything I wrote. So this book is a really well-written story about taking back who you are and your empowerment. And it's definitely a women empowerment book, which is amazing. And we definitely need this right now. Like This is also a good example of team empowerment and team building. And how sometimes you can't heal just by yourself. Especially if it's an experience that everyone experienced together. So it is a 24 hour timeline as I said. So it's leading up to a big game. That is really important to the newcomers and the um, previous people on the team. When I first saw the book I thought the POV was actually like point of view like multiple different first persons but instead it was more of a third person singleizing each person you know the use of each different character following the time was actually really well written sometimes just to emphasize the time she would do the same character in a row which I think I mean it has a point but sometimes at the same time it's just a little weird in my opinion the way that it was written out Team First Always is like a recurring quote in the whole story um, and I'm not gonna lie I kind of want that tattooed on me because it's Team First Always it doesn't just apply to sports you know you have a stage management team I'm a stage manager but I need my whole team to be together and we need to be on the same page if one of us hates the other there will be some kind of repercussions and we need to accept and help each other grow and and you know in the film industry it's the same way if one tech aspect is off the whole thing is off kiltered and you just gotta remember that like even in life you know with your friends you know your team always you need to put yes you need to put yourself all first but you also need to think about the people around you as well and like i don't know i really like that it's definitely a really well written story um kind of my cup of tea I'm definitely, I don't know if I'd reread this book per se. I read this from 4 o'clock yesterday to 6 a.m. 6 something a.m. today. So I read this book in 14 hours, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds, which I think is really good. Highly, highly, highly recommend this book. Okay, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my face, hit the subscribe button. If you're not sure, then go down and click my name down below. I do bullet journal videos, art videos, book videos, comic book, Spider-Man videos, and fandom related things, and vlogs. So if you guys want to see that, I'm a very eclectic, collective channel. But sometimes, it's a fun time. So if you want to, check that out. And if you like it, hit subscribe. If not... That's okay too. So thank you guys for coming along with this journey of this book. I know this vlog is a little different than some of my other vlogs. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah. Peace out.
rock on the road and get to grow your wings. Fly high, subscribe, make sure everyone knows your name. Love from my screen to yours. Bombing little red first, Cameron.